Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about password protection. We talked about global band password list. We talked about custom band password list. We discussed how passwords are evaluated in Azure Active Directory. And we also discussed how to configure custom band password list in Azure Active Directory. In this particular video, we will be talking about passwordless authentication. We will discuss what is passwordless authentication. What are the authentication options available for passwordless authentication in Azure Active Directory? We will discuss the background process of passwordless authentication when it is configured using Microsoft Authenticator app. I will demonstrate to you how to enable passwordless authentication using Microsoft Authenticator application. We will also see end user level configuration and what will be the end user experience when passwordless authentication is enabled. Usually users use their username and password to log into an application. But passwordless authentication is more convenient way to log in. It lets users to log into an application without passwords. Instead of passwords, they can use either Microsoft Authenticator app they can use a security key or even they can use Windows PIN. So that means when passwordless authentication is enabled and when user will try to log into an application, he will not be required to enter his password. We will discuss this practically as well and things will be more clear. Azure Active Directory offers multiple passwordless authentication options like Authenticator app, FIDO2 security key and Windows Hello. In this particular demo, we will set up passwordless authentication using Microsoft Authenticator app. So first, let's understand what exactly happens in the background when a user is authenticated using Microsoft Authenticator app instead of his password. When a user will try to access an application, he will enter his username. Then the request will go to Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory will find that this user has passwordless authentication enabled using Authenticator application. Now, if the user is using iOS device, a notification will be sent to the Authenticator app on his mobile using Apple push notification service. And if user is using Android device, the notification will be sent using Firebase cloud messaging. As soon as user will receive the notification, he will open the Authenticator app on his mobile. Then Authenticator app will connect to Azure Active Directory and it will receive a proof of presence challenge along with authorization token. Then user will complete the challenge by entering his PIN to unlock the private key. In the next step, the authorization token that was sent by Azure AD will be signed with private key and will be sent back to Azure Active Directory. Then Azure Active Directory will perform public and private key validation and will send the access token to the client. And the user will be able to log into the application. So this is how passwordless authentication works with Microsoft Authenticator app. Now let's talk about the prerequisites. Those are required to be met in order to use passwordless authentication. In order to use passwordless authentication, you need Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license. You need to install the latest version of Microsoft Authenticator app on your iOS or Android device. If you are using Android device, you need to register the user's account on that particular device on Authenticator app. And if you are using iOS device, that device should be registered with the tenant and you would require global administrator account to enable passwordless authentication. So now let's move towards our lab and let's configure passwordless authentication using Authenticator app. To configure passwordless authentication, you will go to Azure Active Directory. Then you will go to security. Under security settings, you will click on authentication methods and then go to policies. Under policies, you will see different types of authentication methods. For this demo, we are going to configure passwordless authentication using Microsoft Authenticator. So you will click on Microsoft Authenticator. 
And here under Microsoft Authenticator settings, you can configure the passwordless authentication for Microsoft Authenticator app. So under enable by default, it will be selected to no. That means this particular policy is not enabled. So first we are going to enable this policy. Under target, you can select if you want to enable passwordless authentication for all the users or you want to enable it for a set of users. If you want, you can add users manually or even you can create a security group. You can add users within the security group and you can add the security group from here. So let's create a security group first and then we will come back to these settings. So we will enable passwordless authentication on a security group. So we will select security and let's give it a name. For example, passwordless. And under members, let's add a couple of users. Let's add Bob Ross and I have John Smith as well. Let's add these two users. So let's create this security group. So this group is created. Let me refresh the page. So this group is created. Let's go back to Azure Active Directory. Go to security, authentication methods, policies, and let's click Microsoft Authenticator. Enable the policy and go to select users. From here, click add users and groups. And look for the security group that we just created. Select the group. Now under authentication mode, make sure you have selected any. And then click save. So this policy is created. Now the next step is the end users will have to add Microsoft Authenticator app as an authentication method. So let's log in with one of the two users. Let's log in to portal.office.com. Let's try with Bob Ross. Let's go to view account. Go to security info. On security info page, we will click add sign in method and we will click choose a method and then select authenticator app. Click add next and click next. Now you can see my mobile screen on the right. I have already installed Microsoft Authenticator app. I will go to the app, click add account, work or school account, and here we will select scan a QR code. So let me scan this code. So this account is added. Now on your browser, click next. Approve this request. Enter your PIN. So now this authenticator method is added. Now the next step is you need to register this account on authenticator app. For this, you will go to authenticator app on your mobile phone. You will open the account and then tap on setup phone sign in. Click continue. Here you need to type the password for this account. Sign in. Approve this request again. Enter your PIN. Tap on register. So it says account is added. Click on finish. Now let's close this browser. And let's log in with the same user again. Click next. Now here I have two options. Either I can enter my password or I can use 
Microsoft Authenticator app to log in. So click use an app instead. Now on your mobile, let me show my mobile screen. So here on your browser, it says open your Authenticator app and enter the number shown to sign in. So in your Authenticator app, you will type this number that is three nine and tap yes. You need to approve this sign in again. Enter your pin. And now you are logged in. So this is how you can configure passwordless authentication. That means the users will not have to enter their passwords. They don't need to remember all their passwords. Administrators can simply enable passwordless authentication for the tenant. Users will register their accounts with Authenticator app and they can simply log in with Authenticator app instead of passwords. In the next video, we will be talking about conditional access policies. We will discuss the components of conditional access policies and I will demonstrate you practically how to configure conditional access policies in Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.